fuck out of here, man. All that bullshit. Hello, everyone. Clark here, Stry here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm back, and today, I'll be talking to you guys whether or not the Arsenal machine from Cold War and Black Ops 6 Zombies belongs in Call of Duty Zombies as a whole. For anyone who doesn't know what the Arsenal machine is, it's basically just another way of progressing your defense and offense within Zombies. Within Cold War Zombies, you could upgrade your armor and your rarity tiers. Armor cost 500 green salvage just to get to tier 1, 1,000 green salvage to then get tier 2 armor, and then 250 blue salvage just to get to tier 3 armor but for the rarity side of things it costed 500 green salvage just to get to the green rarity a thousand green salvage to then get to the blue rarity and then 500 blue salvage to get to the purple rarity and then a thousand blue salvage just to get to the max rarity being the orange rarity now within black of six zombies they actually changed this within black of six zombies armor is no longer in the arsenal machine and instead it was replaced for alternate ammo types and as you're aware alternate ammo types before Black Ops 6 was actually always in the pack punch machine. Armor is now a wall buy and AETs are now within the arsenal machine. Every AET cost 500 pieces of green salvage as there's only one variant of salvage within this game. As for the rarity side of things, rarities are actually much more faster and cheaper to get within this game. Instead of getting to the green tier just to get to the blue tier, you could just go skip right on ahead to the blue rarity if you have enough salvage. And the more rarities you buy as you progress, the next rarity after that you purchase will be cheaper. So honestly, big W's on Treyarch for that one. My biggest problem with the Cold War Zombies arsenal system was that the fact that we had two variants of salvage, as the green salvage drops from zombies and getting big drops of green salvage after every five rounds, once you survived round 15, was honestly really good. But the blue salvage drops from zombies, it made it so it's like as if you hardly got any. And then on top of that, getting the big blue salvage drops every five rounds after round 15, you hardly got any from that as well. So I honestly hated how long it took for you just to get to the max rarity within Cold War Zombies. Of course, this was a bit fixed, I guess, as if you've done all the Easter eggs within Cold War Zombies, you actually start off with a purple rarity. But in Black Ops 6, I feel like you get so much faster. So honestly, again, big W to Treyarch. If I had to say which Arsenal system was better, I'm going to have to give it to Black Ops 6, as again, you only have one variant of salvage, all the AETs are a good price of 500, and of course, the rarities are much more faster and cheaper to get. Now, as for the positives and negatives regarding the Black Ops Core and Black Ops 6 Arsenal system. The big positive for both of them, I just gotta say, is the progression of them. It's another way of progressing within the game slash match of zombies. It gives you much more reason if you're playing Black Ops Core zombies to get yourself to armor up more. It gives you more of a defense. Well, the rarities, it gives you a chance to build up your offense to get more damage for your gun from the rarities. Within Black Ops 6 zombies, the rarities are the exact same like the core zombie system. It's just it's much more cheaper and faster. But of course, armor's on the wall by now and myself and a lot of other people included within the zombies community actually much prefer armor as a wall buy. My only problem is that when alternate ammo types was introduced in the arsenal machine instead of pack punch I was actually really against it but honestly it actually works and I have no problem with it at all. In terms of the negatives of the arsenal machine I do gotta say that the in game menu still sucks. They actually got rid of the in game menu for pack punch within black ops 6 zombies but the in game menu for the arsenal is still there. Now if the in game menu was specifically for the red Rarities, it makes sense, especially how you could just skip straight on ahead to the blue rarity, purple rarity, orange rarity, depending on how much salvage you got. But if they made it where it was like Cold War and they had no in game menu and the arsenal was just dedicated to the rarities, you would then just go up to it, hold square, and then boom, you get a green rarity. Your next would then be blue, purple, and all that stuff. And I really do like how you could just skip straight on to the highest rarity without having to get the other rarities previously. So if that was the case, I wouldn't be complaining. But I'm only saying that because alternate ammo types are within the arsenal, and I definitely don't think they should be. Again, like I mentioned previously, I don't mind them. I think it works, but I feel like it's just a work away around to avoid some of the problems that Cold War has. My idea for fixing this would be just put the alternate ammo types back in the pack punch, make it so it's random, but it's a cheap price, kind of like how it's Black Ops 3 and 4. For an example here, you go out to the pack punch, you hold square, you're getting your pack tier up. But if you hold triangle in the pack punch machine, you're getting an alternate ammo type. That would make it so you have two different interactive buttons for two different things within the pack punch machine and that would avoid an in-game menu popping up and that would have the possibility of an in-game menu not happening for the arsenal machine. But again, I do understand having the choice to pick what your alternate ammo type is, is a good thing as well. I honestly like that as well. But 
I just wish there was a workaway around it so you did not have to get an in-game menu. But I did ask some of your guys' thoughts on Twitter on what you guys think about the Arsenal machine within Black Ops 6 Zombies and if you guys think that is better than Black Ops Core Zombies and this is what you guys said. We got a reply from Shrubinton and Shrubinton says, Opening a menu is still annoying. It would be nice if the ammo mods had a different way of acquiring and interacting with the Arsenal would upgrade your weapon just by interacting. They really just shuffled around the problems with Inco War by making armor wall by instead of being in the arsenal which is good and moving alternate ammo types out of the pap and removing its pop-up menu which again is really good but overall it's nice and straightforward and having the one salvage instead of the two is nice you yeah, know i gotta agree with the majority of that comment and again the biggest w is probably the fact that we only have one variation of salvage not two especially when that second one being the blue salvage hardly gave you any within cold war bless your bless we actually have a reply from streamington's reply here and it's actually from no name and he says i kind of wish there were ammo mod side easter eggs in each map where you have to unlock them the way instead of a machine. It would add more character to the maps and when they add more ammo mods later those could be specific to each map as well. Kind of like what Infinite Warfare did. Now the reason why I added in that reply is because I definitely think that is a cool idea. One because it gives more uniqueness and character to each specific map. Along with that it could save you a whole lot more salvage within the game. So honestly I gotta agree with no name there. We also have a reply from Lucas also known as Nova YT and he says it's good but the menu just like how the pack was in core zombies is entirely pointless they could move the ammo mods to the crafting table and make the rarity upgrade instant or make the left side upgrade in your rarity instantly and the right side pops up a menu for ammo mods or even add a quality of life feature where you can instantly upgrade your gun by tapping x but holding x puts you in the menu other than that it's a great change from cold war way more personality with the drill sergeant helps fill the hole in my heart from the missing pack jingle i gotta agree with this again the whole personality thing is definitely there and then of course holding x putting you in the menu but you know it would be great if we didn't have a menu at all like my idea previously put alternate ammo types back into the pack punch make it so instead of holding x you're holding a different one to then just get a random alternate ammo type kind of like how it was in black Ops 3 and 4 that way a uh, pop-up menu is not happening and if we wanted to make it so the rarities are the only thing dedicated within the arsenal then you could just go up to the arsenal machine hold square and then boom you get a green rarity no menu pop up or whatever the same applies when you do it again with blue purple and orange and so on and so forth so i do agree with that we got a reply from spider-man and spider-man says i think it should still be a crash test dummy like it was in cold war it would make more sense since it talks now i mean it's an ai you know type of robot machine that's talking to you so and you know a test dummy isn't a robot so i, I don't know what to say about that but either way i guess i don't know <laughs> Rest in peace to test on me though. I got one from Tragic, and Tragic replies with a gift from the boys saying, Perfect. Well, Man obviously loves the Arsenal machine. And our last reply is from Michael, and Michael says, Not a fan of the menus in Zombies at all, but I love the fact that the Arsenal machine has much more personality to it. It's pretty neat. Again, like I said, I definitely do agree. I'm not a fan of the end game menus, but the Arsenal machine personality is really cool and my biggest thing about it and just alternate ammo types in general with this game is the little alternate ammo type packs that you have within the game. I love that. They just look so cool. So honestly, big W's to Treyarch. Do I think the Arsenal machine is bad? No. Do I think it belongs in Zombies? Honestly, yes. But I don't think armor, especially with how they work within Black Ops 6 Zombies and alternate ammo types as well, I just don't think they should be a part of it. I think the Arsenal machine should just be dedicated around the rarity system. That is if, you know, they don't actually and double tap back but if they did i don't know how rarity system would work but we'll just need to see but guys thank you all so much for watching let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think do you guys like the arsenal system do you guys not do you guys like the black ops cold war system bear black ops 6 arsenal system bear let me know in the comment section down below but guys thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all within the next video or live stream and goodbye